that's how I handled things online. When I, you know, I went through this in the '90s with uh, AOL and all this stuff. You know, the doxing and all that. It's been going on for a long time. Those Trojan and, horses. Yeah, Trojans and punters <laughs> and you know, executable files. I'll never forget. Yeah. There was a program called Sub Seven. We're it fucking was old. Up. Yeah, I mean, there, there was a guy named Mobman. He's still on Twitter. Um, he made a program called Sub Seven, and pretty much it was a Trojan horse. And with the executable file, you could disguise it as a movie. So mm-hmm. I was sending this file out to people, saying that it was, you know, it was I was posing as a woman and sending out my porn videos to men. And of course, they grab them; they're asking for it left and right. <laughs> and you wind up getting control of their computer. You know, mm-hmm. I used to make their speakers bark like a dog or print Remote out access. Messages. Yeah, I was printing out messages to them, uh, turning their screens upside down, make turn their screen into the matrix. That was great. You um, know, I learned a lot from um, having the internet in the '90s, and I'm sure, as well as I'm sure you did. You know, yeah, so there was a lot of lessons learned, like as far as how the internet, like shit, worked, and some important shit. You know, I mean, not that I did, yeah. but yeah, I mean that that and there, if you found out where someone lived and they were close to you and they tried pulling some shit on you, man, you were going to get doorstepped. I, I did it to a guy. Mm-hmm. I showed up in his house in New York City and I was like, that's close enough for me. I didn't threaten him. I didn't say a goddamn word. All of a sudden, next thing you know, I was standing at his front door. Knock, knock. 